Welcome back. It's 823. If you're keeping up with the headlines, you've heard about the massive college cheating scandal that's landed some people in hot water. But of course, that's not how the majority of students out there get into college. So Christina Woodall is here from College Tutors today uh, with a few tips for students looking to get into their dream schools. Christina, yeah. what kind of advice do you have and what at what point do you think kids should start thinking about really looking into their yeah. college? So it really depends on your student. Mm -hmm. Some students go into their freshman year and they're already starting to think about what they want to do for college, what they want to do when they grow up. And for some students that's really overwhelming. Mm -hmm. So our advice is freshman and sophomore year, have casual conversations with your students about where do you want to go? Do you want to stay close to home? Do you want to go far away? What things are interesting to you at school? And then really by the time they're starting their junior year is when you should start ramping up, making a mm -hmm. plan, thinking about the logistics like SAT and ACT prep, right. um, making sure your GPA and class rank is good. Um, so that's usually when we say you should start really focusing on this thing. Right. And once they do, what are the most important steps in getting accepted? Yes. So think a lot about your class schedule. And this is something you just need to have a conversation with your guidance counselor about. Um, you know, is an A in a standard class better than a B in a AP class? or vice versa, how does it affect your GPA? And every school is going to be a little different on that. So just mm -hmm. be thinking about what classes you take and how it's going to affect the way you look at co to colleges. Um, and then just stay on top of those grades. It's really important that you are paying attention to the warning signs. Mm -hmm. And if you have a bad test grade, if you start to see your grade drop, you start taking action right away. So go to your teacher's tutorials, get some outside help. At college tutors, we have a lot of students that they're not failing, they just need an extra help staying on top of their daily tasks, um, and we can absolutely do that. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot to take in. We just yeah. <laughs> mentioned that story of the 17-year-old from Houston who just easily got in. Yeah. <laughs> not easily, I shouldn't say, but it's very impressive he was able to get into yes, some Ivy League schools, 15 colleges. But, you know, for pretty much everyone else, <laughs> you know, me, um, it, you know, it's overwhelming. It's an overwhelming experience. Um, where's the best place to start when kids are looking? So really make a plan. Mm -hmm. Start sitting down with a planner at the beginning of that junior year and think about, okay, when are we going to do campus tours? Mm -hmm. What are we going to do for test prep? Take a practice ACT or SAT test. Um, get those baseline scores. See where you're landing and how close it is to what the colleges you're wanting to go to accept. Um, you know, we do free practice tests on a monthly basis at college students so students can come in and just get a feel for it. That's great. And then be thinking about your extracurriculars. That's another mm -hmm. one. You know, find out what you're passionate about because colleges want to see a well-rounded student. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it doesn't have to be a sport. It can be a place where you volunteer. It could be an internship that you take. Anything to help. Group, club. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Something to widen your horizons a bit. Right. Christina, thank you so much. Thank Lots for students to think about. We appreciate you helping them get on their way yeah. to <laughs> college. Thanks so much. You're welcome.